Okay, let's be real. This year is going to separate the winners from the ones who get left behind. And the difference, it won't be who works harder, it'll be who learns how to use AI the smart way. While most people are stuck worrying about AI taking jobs, a growing number of small business owners are quietly using it to save time, grow faster, and crush their goals with just a few basic skills. So here's the truth. You don't need to be a tech expert. You just need to know which 10 AI skills actually make a difference and how to use them in your day-to-day -day work. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Hey there, everyone. I'm Jake Dawson. And after helping hundreds of entrepreneurs and small business owners implement simple AI strategies, I've seen firsthand how accessible these tools really are. These skills are not just nice to havers, right? They are the difference between running a business that's stuck in the past and one that runs smoother, faster, and way more efficiently. So let's get into what really matters. What AI tools and skills actually help business owners win in 2025? And how you can start using them today, even if you're not a technical person at all. Let's kick things off with one of the most powerful skills, prompt writing. This is hands down the most important skill if you're just getting into AI. Think of it like learning how to Google better, but 10 times more useful. The way you ask the question completely changes the quality of the result. If you just type something like email to customer, you're gonna get a pretty boring generic email. But if you say, write a friendly follow-up email to a customer who hasn't responded in two weeks about their website project, now you're giving this AI something real to work with. The email it spits out will sound like you actually care and didn't just hit send from some dusty old template from 2014. And here's the cool trick. Inside make.com, you can actually save your best prompts and let them run automatically. For example, you set it so if a client hasn't replied in 14 days, make triggers your saved follow-up prompt, fills in their name and project info, and sends the email. You don't even have to think about it. It's like having a little assistant who never forgets to follow up. All right, now let's talk about using AI to improve your content, not create it from scratch. This is gold for people who already write their own stuff, but want to sound sharper or maybe save some time. A lot of smart business owners are using tools like Claude or ChatGPT to clean up their content, make it sound more human, or you know, turn one post into five posts, for example. Let's say you write a product description, but it sounds flat. Drop it into ChatGPT and say, hey, make this sound more fun and casual. Boom you're done. Or you have that email draft that kind of rambles on. Ask it to tighten it up and make a clear call to action. And even better, if you're using N8N or make.com, which are both automation platforms, you can build a quick workflow that checks for new drafts in Google Docs or Notion, runs them through ChatGPT, and saves the improved version. So you could literally write your rough draft, walk away, and come back to a polished version just waiting for you. It's one of those setups that saves you time and makes you look good. Now, let's talk customer service. You don't need to be Amazon to have 24 seven support anymore. I helped a bakery owner who set up a super simple AI chatbot that answers things like, when do you open? Or do you have gluten-free cupcakes? She built it in one afternoon. And to do this, Use a tool like ManyChat or ChatFuel. You can feed it your FAQ, some of your info, common answers, then connect it to make.com so that every time someone asks a question, it can log the chat into your CRM or even send you a Slack ping if a human needs to jump in to help. Take a second to let that sink in. You don't need a tech team or a huge budget to do this stuff anymore. All right, let's talk about one of my favorite time savers, using AI as your personal research assistant. And no, this isn't about spreadsheets or digging through market reports like some Wall Street analyst. This is about asking the right questions and getting a straight answer fast. So let's say you want to know what your competitors are doing or what people are saying about a product in your niche, for example. You pop open GenSpark and say something like, what are the top three complaints people have about online coaching platforms? or compare these two competitors for someone starting out in a fitness brand, for example. Boom, answers, plain English, no rabbit holes, no wasted time. Now here's where it gets really fun. You can actually automate this kind of research so it runs on autopilot. Inside make.com, you set up a scenario with the OpenAI module, and then you plug in a repeating schedule like every Monday at 9 a.m. You ask it to run a few research prompts, maybe on trends in your industry or what your competitors are up to, and then email you the results. So you're literally sipping coffee while your AI assistant does the digging for you. 
pretty cool, right? All right, next one is workflow simplification. And I know that sounds like a business buzzword soup, but stick with me. This is really about one thing, finding those annoying tasks you repeat all the time and letting AI just take over. One salon owner I worked with was spending way too much time setting appointments, confirmations, writing follow-up texts, and recommending products to their existing clients. Now, all of that runs by itself. And here's how she did it. She used N8N to connect her booking software to ChatGPT. When a client books an appointment, it automatically sends a confirmation. A day later, it sends a follow-up message like, I hope you loved your cut. Here is a product based on your hair type that you might like. And the best part, she didn't write a single line of code. She just dragged a few blocks, connected them, and now the system does all of that busy work for her while she focuses on what actually matters, her clients. Now, let's talk about visuals. You do not need to be a designer anymore to make good looking stuff. Seriously, with tools like Mid Journey or even the new Gemini models, you can make professional looking images in seconds. I'm talking social media posts, website banners, product shots, all of it. Just type something in like a photo of a clean, modern office desk with a laptop and coffee, and boom, there it is, a stunning image ready to post. No Canva, no waiting on freelancers, no endless revisions. So if visuals usually stress you out, this is a game changer. You don't need to be a creative, you just need to know what you want and let AI do the rest. All right, now let's get into something that's actually kind of fun, using AI to help you make better business decisions. Yeah, really. Think of it like having a second brain that doesn't get tired, emotional, or distracted by your never-ending to-do list. You just open up a chatbot, Claude, ChatGPT, type a challenge that you're facing, and ask for input. Like, I'm thinking about raising prices next month. What should I consider before doing that? Or, I've got two ideas. Help me figure out which one will perform better with busy moms. You'd be surprised how helpful it is to get an outside perspective that doesn't have office drama or caffeine crashes. Now, if you wanna take this next level, you can actually set up a workflow in N8N to feed your AI tool a mix of real data. Stuff like sales numbers, customer reviews, or even notes from your team. And once that's pulled in, the AI can give you more personalized suggestions based on what's actually going on in your business, not just general advice. It's like asking your smartest friend for help, except they know all your numbers, they're always available, and they don't make you buy them lunch. Let's roll into the next one, customer insight mining. Don't let that fancy name throw you now. All it means is using AI to spot patterns in what your customers are already saying. So if you've got reviews, testimonials, emails, or even live chat transcripts. You've got gold just sitting there. All you need to do is dig it up. One restaurant owner I worked with had no idea that their brunch menu was the fan favorite until we dropped all of their five-star reviews into ChatGPT and asked it to look for common themes. Turns out everyone was raving about their weekend specials. They leaned into that, promoted it harder, and saw a big, bump in weekend traffic. Easy win. You can automate this too. Inside make.com, set up a flow where every new review from Google or Yelp or wherever it gets collected passes through an AI module that looks for patterns and then sends you a quick summary. Even better, it can flag trends like, hey, five people just complimented your new tacos this week. Or a few people said your delivery times were slow. You don't have to dig through anything. You just read the summary and take action. All right. Let's talk about something now that's probably holding a lot of people back, trying to do everything yourself. That's where delegating to digital workers comes in. And no, this isn't about hiring more people or outsourcing to someone overseas. This is about letting AI take the lead on certain tasks and building a smart system around that. Let me explain. Imagine you've got a lead coming in through your website. Instead of manually checking it, replying, and assigning someone to follow up, you build a little N8N flow that says, if a lead fits this criteria, send them a welcome email using ChatGPT. If they don't, reply in three days, send a follow up. If they ask a question, send it to Lisa from the team. That's it. You're still in control. You're just not babysitting the process. The smartest business owners I know aren't trying to hustle harder. They're using AI and automation to make sure that the right stuff gets done by the right person or tool. Whether it's a human or a digital assistant, the job still gets done and you finally get to breathe a little bit. And speaking of breathing room, the last skill I wanna show you is the one that makes all of this possible, even if you're new to AI, the experimentation mindset. 
This is the thing that separates the guys who get ahead from the ones who get stuck. You don't need to be an AI expert. You just need to be willing to mess around with a new tool for like 15 minutes and see if it helps your business. That's it. No pressure to master it. Just try it. See what clicks and move on if it doesn't. I know one business owner who told me, I'm not techie at all, but I've started testing one new AI tool every Sunday. That's it. One tool. Once a week. He gives himself 15 to 20 minutes, usually with a coffee. No pressure. Last time we talked, he had automated his email newsletter, created branded images with AI, and even set up a customer survey system just from tinkering. It's not bad for someone who used to struggle with Google Docs. And look, the best part is you don't have to build anything from scratch. Tools like make.com have pre-built templates that you can use just to test a few ideas fast. You click on a template, plug in your info, and boom, you're off to the races. Want to send automated follow-ups? There's a template for that. Want to summarize customer feedback? Yep, template for that too. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just have to be curious enough to roll it. And heck, even I have a school community where I've been dropping all the templates I've built over the past year. And these are real automations I've used myself, not just theory. So if you wanna skip the setup stress and just plug and play, they're all there waiting for you. And guys, this is really where the magic happens. The people who win this year aren't the ones who sat around just waiting for a perfect solution. They're the ones who tried stuff. Maybe it didn't work the first time. Maybe they hit a few dead ends, but they kept going. And now they've got AI working for them while others are still overthinking step one. So if you've been watching this thinking, okay, but where do I even start? Don't overthink it. Pick one small problem in your business, test one tool this week and go from there. And I'll show you exactly how to do that in just a second. Let's wrap this up. What matters most now is not knowing exactly what to try. It's being curious enough to test something new. Pay attention to what's working and not overcomplicate it. That business owner's competitor didn't suddenly become a tech genius overnight. They just opened up ChatGPT, typed in, write a friendly email to customers about this week's specials, and they got back a message they could copy, paste, and send. Done. One small win at a time. So if you've been holding back because you thought this stuff was too complex, now you know it's not. It's doable. And if your competition is already using AI to do more with less, the question becomes, what's stopping you from doing the same? And that brings me to the real issue I see way too often. People either putting AI up on some pedestal, like it's going to run their whole business for them, or brushing it off completely, like it's not for people like us. But the truth is, both of those mindsets will slow you down. AI is not some magical fix that will let you clock out at noon and watch your bank account grow, though that would be nice. But it's also not some fancy techie monster that you know you need a computer science degree to understand. And look, the only mindset more dangerous than AI is too complicated is I'll deal with it later. That whole I'll learn it next quarter thing, that's how people fall behind without realizing it. Because while you're waiting for the perfect moment, your competitors are stacking little wins over and over. A few hours saved here, better content there, more leads coming in, it adds up. So yeah, AI isn't just another buzzword that'll fade away in a year. This is a full on shift of how businesses operate. And unlike past tech waves that took forever to hit small businesses, this one's already here. It's already saving people time, already helping folks close more deals, serve more customers, and getting ahead faster. And the next six to 12 months, they matter a lot. This is the moment where the early adopters pull away from the pack. The ones who start building these 10 simple AI skills now are going to be miles ahead by the time everyone else is trying to catch up. And the businesses that wait too long, they'll still be doing everything manually while the AI powered ones are moving faster, selling more and spending way less time on the boring stuff. But here's the upside and a big one. You don't need to become some tech genius or throw thousands of dollars at this. Most tools I showed you today cost less than $50 a month and plenty of them have free versions that are more than enough to get started. And the learning curve, we're talking hours, not months. This stuff is designed to be simple because business owners don't have time to mess around with complicated tools. So AI isn't here to take away what makes your business special. It's not replacing the human connection, your creativity, or your experience. It's just handling the repetitive stuff that eats up your day. And if you're thinking, well, 
all right, well, what exactly should I do first then? I've got you. I just dropped a full video on how I'd start learning AI and automation if I had to start from scratch today. It's simple, it's step-by-step, -step, and it shows you exactly what tools to use in what order and how to get quick wins without getting overwhelmed. You'll find the link in the description below and it'll pop up at the end of this video too. Definitely check it out. It's the perfect next step to get the ball rolling. All right, now I'd love to hear from you. What's the one AI skill from today's video that you think would save you the most amount of time in your business? Or maybe you've already been using some of these tools and you've seen results. Drop it in the comments. I read everyone and seriously, I'd love to know what's working for you or even where you're getting stuck. Hey, if this breakdown helped you out, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss what's coming next. I'll be posting full step-by-step -step tutorials on how to actually implement each of these 10 skills. You'll be able to follow along even if you've never touched this stuff before. Thanks for watching. Seriously, I appreciate you being here and I'll see you in the next one.